Order. Question number three, Grant Robertson. Thank you very Order. much, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Prime Minister. Is he satisfied with the performance of his Minister for Tertiary Education, Skills and Employment, and are there any areas of his performance that he needs to improve? Order. Mr. Right, Mr. Honourable Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, I say to contestant number one, uh, <laughs> yes. And I can see why the member's concerned about employment, because all he's been thinking about for the last 20 months is his own employment, order, which is why order, he stabbed his leader. Order. Point of order. Grant Robertson. Uh, there were two parts to that question. The Speaker, the Prime Minister answered the first one, but he didn't answer the second. Order. I, on this occasion, if the Prime Minister could address the second part of the, uh, the primary question. Are there any areas that require improvement? Mr. Right, Speaker, uh, I'm sure the Minister himself would say uh, he's not perfection, but he's pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> Supplementary question, Grant Robertson. Uh, in light of that answer, could the Prime Minister tell the House, according to the latest Household Labour Force survey, how many New Zealanders are unemployed? Right, Honourable Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, uh, on the numbers I have in front of me, 153,000 according to the Household Labour Force survey. That is 65,000 uh, less because in the last two years that's why employment has gone up. Mr Speaker, what, what we know is the labour markets are very fluid. Last week one person lost their job. Now there's three people looking for it. <laughs> Order. 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 Supplementary question, Grant Robertson. Is he satisfied that 153,000 New Zealanders are unemployed? Right, Honourable Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, to be precise, it's 153,001, because one got sacked last week by the Labour caucus. Order. 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 Would the Prime Minister now please address the question that was asked, which is, is he satisfied with 153,000 unemployed? Mr Speaker, uh, no, but what I can say is the government, well, the government is doing a long list of things, and actually it would be very interesting if we could go through contestant one, two and three and see which ones of them support these. This is a government... Order. Well, order. The House needs to settle down. Um, the Prime Minister did answer very directly and said no, he's not satisfied, but then the member himself interjected and said, so what's he doing about it? So he gave the Prime Minister a perfect chance to continue his answer. Supplementary Thank question, you. Grant Robertson. Does the Prime Minister know where New Zealand ranks in terms of unemployment in the OECD? And if he doesn't know, does he think it's higher or lower than it was at the same time in 2008? Right, Honourable Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, I'm advised it's 11th. I'm also advised that this is a government that's moving up the OECD rankings. Mr Speaker, this is a government that's had 65,000 more people in work in the last couple of years. But what is absolutely fascinating about this question, Mr Speaker, is this is the member, contestant number one, that has had this responsibility order, for 21... Order, order, and the Prime Minister has no ministerial responsibility for that. Point of order, Grant Robertson. Mr Speaker, order. To enlighten uh, the Prime Minister, I seek leave to table figures from the OECD that show that New Zealand ranked sixth in terms of unemployment leave in 2008 and twelfth in 2013. Leave us sought to table that. Is there any objection? There is none. It can be tabled. Two questions, Mr Speaker. question, Grant Robertson. So is the Prime Minister telling New Zealanders that they should be satisfied that after five years of his government, 153,000 New Zealanders are out of work? Right, Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, um, firstly, New Zealand, relative to the rest of the world, oh, is doing this pretty well. There have been 65,000 jobs created in the last couple of years. There's been a global financial crisis that we've had to go through. Our unemployment rate over time is tracking down while the rest of the world is tracking up. But, Mr Speaker, on this side of the House, we want to do things to create employment. So let's go through the three contestants no, and order, see which order, ones are... Order, order, order. There is no need for that in this answer. <laughs> Supplementary question. No, a point of order. Uh, a point of order, Grant Robertson. Point of order, Mr Speaker. I seek leave of the House to table uh, figures from the Household Labour Force survey that show order, no. that 153,000 New Zealanders... Such figures... Order! Such figures are freely available to all members. Question number four, 
Order. 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 No, I don't intend to at this stage, but if I see those signs raised by any particular member again, then I will be asking that member to leave the chamber for the balance of question time. Question number four, Colin King.